on some hats. I need this in my life. <laughs> what is that? It's a moose. It's a moose. Cabins. Howdy. Here's Pamela. Alex is inside. Um, staying out here on the porch next to our picnic table that's in the sun. I'm sure that's the temperature of the sun. And our rest area grill. Yes. The rest area grill. The permanent mounted grill top. Room for charcoal underneath. <laughs> oh. It's adjustable. It is adjustable. So you, you know, height over the coals. Very important. Got a nice ditch in the backyard there. Um, all the other cabins around us. Parking. Parking for one and a golf cart. Here's the front of our cabin. Yeah, Mickey in that window and Donald's hiding over there. But we're not going to take you inside just yet. We are going to head over to... The Meadows Trading Post. Yes. We'll check that out. Housekeeping was just here. We stayed here last night, got in late. We didn't feel like recording yet, so we didn't. There's some of the neighbors. Hi, neighbors. There's Donald. There he is. But yeah, we'll show you around a little bit and then we'll take you inside and show you what that's all about. Getting in the car. Alright, so we're staying in Moccasin Trail, the 2600s, which has a bus stop right outside and there's actually one right behind us too, but we're turning toward the settlement. And sorry about all the windy noise right now. It's, really? it's warm. Clean this up a little bit. Yeah, dirty windshield. Bug. There's the windshield wipers. Yeah. There's your entertainment for today. They're fairly new ones too, so yep. you're welcome. Yes. Thanks for watching yours first, then we're done. <laughs> that was that was our entertainment. Um, so we're in the cabin section. As you can see, there's cabins. But there's another bus stop. Do not pass stop buses. Just like school. Do not pass the stop school buses. So there we have the RVs. As you see, they got little Mickey and Minnie's. Set up oh, right yeah. over here. It's not a lot of Mickey like yeah. this. I just saw another one. Yeah. Yeah, those are cool. Well, yeah, we're gonna go for a little drive through the neighborhood here, show you around, and then we'll show you the inside of the cabin. Um, wouldn't make much sense to show you the inside of the RVs because um, they're all personal RVs. Uh, you can rent a golf cart while you're here. Um, guessing it's expensive and it's first come first serve. So if you're coming here, yeah, you might want to bring your own. If you have one. Yeah. I saw a really cool one at the bus stop when we were coming back from Animal Kingdom mm -hmm. that had a Jimmy Buffett Margaritaville themed windshield. Oh yeah? Yeah, it had a giant parrot on it. It was cool. really cool. I sent parrot a picture heads. to your mom. Alright. So this is the camping area I went through yesterday. Yeah. So there's tents. All the tents are set up in there. It's like a big commune. It's intense. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember seeing this yesterday. We didn't come through here, did we? We did not. Okay. We're on an adventure. It's an adventure. Let's see. Cast members only be on this point, so I'm going to turn around. <laughs> um, that might be one of the ways to Wilderness Lodge. It could be. I know there is one up by the settlement. Off road. So, yeah, this is this area. Mm -hmm. Neat. Parking. Parking for the camping. If you're <laughs> camping, you got a little trek. Uh, if you're staying in the cabins, however, you get to park right outside your cabin. It is beautiful. I think that the premium campsite, campsites might have a single parking space too. Oh yeah? Maybe. Don't quote me on that. Ooh, and something people would like to know, staying at the cabins, you do not have to pay for parking. I know that's a big thing going on with Disney lately. Um, you do not have to pay for parking here. That was nice. Yes. I guess since you have your own spot attached yeah. to your cabin, it's kind of included in your yeah, price. Yeah, you're, you're still paying for it. You just don't have to pay a separate fee. So yeah, we're heading back this way. Okay, so we're back at the cabins. There's the RVs that we pointed out, and here's the cabins, the bus stop, don't pass buses. We're back here, so you make a right turn from there, instead of the left, that takes you to the camping. Which is fine, because we want to show you a little bit of everything and how things are set up. This is one of the comfort areas uh, for the campgrounds and the RV areas. They have a bathhouse, restroom building set up. Yeah. Showers, possibly. Alright, a sign. The, the sign. Sign. There it is. To the left, Meadow Trading Post. Yes. The Trading Post, the settlement, um, is of, all down this way. A lot of people on bikes um, yes. in this area. 
Chippendale telling you, whoa, traffic ahead. Um, here's a tip, anybody that's staying here, if you're staying in the cabins or in the campsites, if you have the means to bring your bike, do it. Yes. Uh, there are bike racks at all of the major transportation hubs down by the boat landing and at the uh, um, main bus depot going out to the parks. There's areas where you can chain your bike yeah. up. However, if you cannot bring your own bike, Disney does rent them, and so do companies like Buena Vista Scooter Rentals and some of the other ones. Uh, I know they rent Surrey bikes, they'll rent other types of bikes as well, and there's other companies in the area that will rent you bikes while you're staying here. They'll even deliver them. That way you can have that, and you might have to pay a little extra, but you might want to get yourself a bike lock because, you know, there's <laughs> a lot of that, uh, leaving your bikes to get on a boat to go to the Magic Kingdom or whatnot. You know, but renting a bike might be cheaper than renting a golf cart. And we got a 15 minute parking spot right there. Um, we're at the training post, golf cart parking, not a whole lot of car parking. I think there's a little bit across the street, but we're gonna go inside, see what they have, maybe buy some souvenirs, and show you what we buy if we do buy some. This is Pamela backing up. Notice, everything's getting further away. It's really dark in the back. And further away. <laughs> Alrighty, and we're here. Alright, and we're here. You can get a spare tire cover for your RV. That is cool. Some hours and camping patches. The emotion shirt. I don't mustaches. That's funny. I need this in my life. What is that? It's a moose. It's a moose. <laughs> We're looking at 30 bucks. <laughs> we got some mooses. One more owls and fox. Walking sticks right there. I love the Chippendale print. That is really cool. It is. The new thing with the RV is nice too. Ooh, we might buy that one. Okay. Uh, so this is your basics. In here, and get your stuffed animals. Me limping around. Here's the hand. <coughs> the hand is twenty-five dollars. I like that. And golf shirts. Nice visor. Twenty bucks. All kinds of hats. Yeah, surfing the I like these ones. The fake leather. <laughs> Never fit my big old noggin. <laughs> Is that the Lilo shirt that you have? It looks like the Lilo shirt. This one? No, it's mini bows. Oh really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Family has a shirt just like that that has Lilo on it. Got your spritzer fans and some Crocs. We bought Alex these. They got the little Mickey heads on them. He loves those. He actually, this is his second set. Oh, that's cute. Oh, this is the best for a 90 degree day. <laughs> <laughs> Mid March, it's hit the 90s, and you got yourself a puppy. You got these. Squeeze toy. Come on. That one's broken. There you go. I know it's a dog color, but that would look super cute on our cat. He's a boy. No. Um. <laughs> that poor kitty. Yeah, they got their drinks and stuff on the other side. More oh, artwork. Yes. They have character ears for your dog. <laughs> or your child that won't keep them on. Doggy bowls. Place. So you get some liquor and stuff behind the cabinet. I think you really need that Wild West emotion chart mustache. Yes. Sure. Yeah. I don't. I don't know if it'll go well with my beard though. <laughs> All right. So yeah, that's pretty much what they have in here. They got some of the pins. New coaster set. Souvenirs and good place to get your drinks. And, oh, they got the coffees and stuff over here too. So. Oh, well, yeah. 
It's a character coaster set. It's a little different than one we had. Oh, it's the same but different. Yeah. Are they wood though? They're porcelain. Oh, okay. We have a set just like that, but it has a picture of each character on it. Yeah. So. The same holder and everything. Snacks here and all this good stuff, toiletries. Collectibles. Ooh, here's some more artwork. I like this one. Oh, that's really cool. That is so cool. I kind of like the sketches. This one is $39.95. That is cool. That's pretty cool. That one is also $39.99. I like that one. That is cool. A little bit shadowy, sorry. Um, yeah. So that's what they have in here. And this is their main shopping building. Yeah, there's another smaller one over by the main settlement where the Pioneer Hall and Hoopty Doo Review are. Yeah. Uh, trails in, Hoopty Doo, Backyard Barbecue, all that's in that other area there. Which we've showed you before in our Trails in and Bar Backyard Barbecue videos. And we've been to Hoopty Doo, but we just didn't do a video for that one. Sorry. <laughs> Beverages. Might have to get some of that to take back to the room with us. Whew. Yeah. Oh, we've got some camping supplies here too. Uh, the chemicals you need, some propane. Cool. Very cool. Camping. <laughs> Betty's got a satellite dish too. That is a very yellow truck. Wow, it is. Goodness. Whose truck is that? Is that your truck? Let us know if that's your truck. If you watch this comment below please yes <laughs> that, that was impressive very banana ish should be universal with the minions anyways moving on we just left a trading post <laughs> there's sunny sage way some more rvs that is a mercedes van with an awning on the side and a bunch of plugs i can't tell you what's slumming it <laughs> it was kind of tiny for an rv but I'm sure this looks various. Yes. Check out the paint job on that one. Look at the size of some of these. Wow. That one does have a, have a satellite. Direct TV. Nice. Good for them. If you're going to do it, you might as well do it in comfort. Yep. I and they have one, they had one of those Mickey lamp posts out front. I love those Mickey lamp posts. Yeah, I didn't see it at the uh, trading post, so they don't sell it here. Uh, Somebody's got to sell it. Probably an RV dealer in the area. You know that or they just hand them out up front when you check in. <laughs> I yeah. doubt it somehow. Rent this. I love the eyes on that one. We yeah. just passed it. Anywho, moving right along. All right, so we're coming up to the end here, end of that road, and you got to do not enter to the left. That will take you straight over to um, Wilderness Lodge, I believe. Yep. And yes, and there's the um, bus station for the settlement, right there. If you look over, there's the bus station, the horse stables. Um, the boat landing. Yes, the boats are back there. And again, we showed you all that with our Trattoria videos, which I'll try to link at the end. Um, not Trattoria, I keep doing that. It's Trails End. Trails End Restaurant. We'll uh, link that at the end. We show you around. And along with Mickey's Backyard Barbecue, because uh, we have a video up for that. And we'll do Hoop Doo Doo re <laughs> Review again for you. <laughs> At some point, we went for ourselves, and that's the night that Alex decided to get really sick. This is a little over a year ago. Poor kid. Uh, got some people crossing the street. Yeah, uh, well, don't let him go. Yeah, he, he decided to wait. Okay. Car versus bike is not good. Um, speed limit of 20. Playground. Oh, they do have a nice little playground here. Dog park, too. Oh, cool. Yeah, we got a dog Aww, park. Oh, look at the there. doggies. It's a corgi, and I don't know what those other dogs are, but they don't <laughs> like that corgi. Yeah, and those are people in the dog park. People. <laughs> That's a big dog. Yeah. It looks like they have them divided up by size. So, got a bridge here. What's the bridge go over? Another ditch? I have troubled water. Oh. There is water down there. Little, 
little creek. Little bus stop. Yep, they got bus stops all over the place. And you'll have to find out what area you're staying in. Uh, you're allowed to pass the buses on the front, just not around from the back. Well, I'm just, I was just, I'm treating it like it's a school bus. Okay. Look at the shepherd. Ooh, ooh pretty shepherd. It is a pretty shepherd. It's kind of a pudgy shepherd. Yep. Well, maybe not. I think he's just fluffy. So they have different colors, like orange and purple and whatnot. So you take the buses from the settlement or the trading post areas. You can take it to your area. Like I think we're <clears throat> orange and purple. Yeah. <coughs> so it'll take you from your bus stop to back to the settlement or your bus stop up front to the check-in area where you can catch the buses to all the resorts or in parks, not the resorts. I'm having trouble talking. Um, tennis courts. I like tennis. Okay. Tennis was fun. Uh, that's the main pool over there. We're on the back side of the trading post, actually. It's a beach volleyball pit. Yeah. This is the Meadow Recreation Area. And the uh, campfire program, there's an outdoor amphitheater, and that's where they do the sing-alongs and campfires with Chip and Dale and the Union. Yes. And I think that's where they do their movies under the stars. It looked like they had a projection screen over there, too. We'll have to, if we have time, we'll walk over there and show you what that looks like. Yeah. We're only here for a couple nights, uh, staying at the cabin, but just wanted to show you around a bit. There's not much up front in the check-in area to show you. It's a parking lot in a building that you walk into. It's really crowded. You check in, and yeah, we'll pass eventually. With him on one side and the people walking on the other, it makes it difficult. So... But he's on a bike. He's allowed to be on the road. So, share the road with everybody. So, where are we at? No, um, oh, we're almost back to the same area again. Yeah, because we've done a loop. Yep. So, to the left is the exit and the cabins. Straight ahead are loops 2000 through 2100. It's a four way stop. So I'm gonna go. Ooh. That truck right there scared me a little bit. Alrighty, so that's pretty much it. Cabins are back over there, and we're heading down this way. Exiting the resort is straight ahead. Yes, which we don't want to do yet. No, there's another road to the right. Okay. To take us back home for the night. Alrighty. So, we're back in our cabin area, and this is what it looks like driving through here. Uh, we're toward the end of our loop. They made a Mickey out of pine cones in Did the driveway. They? Yep. That's cool. And they have a Margaritaville themed <laughs> part too. I don't know if it's necessarily Margaritaville, it just looks like a luau. There are definitely some colorful people that stay at the campsites. Oh, no doubt. They enjoy it. There is a abundance of personality. Yes. I like it. But this is what it looks like when you're driving through. The cabins are not really that close together, considering what Disney could have done. Yeah, they could have just put them on top of each other. Yeah. So, you got a little bit of privacy. But if you leave your windows open on one side, someone can see right in. So. Ooh. <laughs> Especially at night if you have the lights on. Something to keep in mind. But we're coming back to ours. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. <laughs> okay, so this is the inside of the cabins. That is an Alex chilling out over there, being lazy. This is the lamp. The table's pushed all the way up here. This is how it was when we got here. We didn't really have any to move it since we're not here that long. But some nice artwork. But that's the lamps over top. You've got the front windows. You can see Donald right there. Mickey's behind that one. Nice big TV over there. Pull out couch that Alex is sitting on. Uh, as you can see, the pillows are there and everything. Full size fridge. Full size coffee pot. And housekeeping was just here, so they run the dishwasher. Got a teapot and our paper towels. Microwave. Maker. Dishes! That sink is gigantic. Lots and lots of cabinet space. 
two doors to get in, one right here and one back in the bedroom to our right here. If you're just coming in, it's to the left. Coat rack right here, very nice. Bambi and Thumper. And outside, there's that very hot picnic table. The throne room. It's fantastic, isn't it? Stay open door. There we go. Nope, not staying open yet. There it goes. Uh, just a standard shower with your Disney toiletries. They gave us more uh, lampshades. They gave us some mosquito prevention. We haven't opened that up yet, but uh, there's me. Hello, me. Uh, lamps and the throne itself. We came in all the towels and everything underneath. So we're coming in here. This is the door to the master bedroom. Master. Nice big mirror. Thermostat as you go in. You can set it. Uh, blowers everywhere, man. If you set this to cold, it gets cold in here. Here's my bed. It's mine, all mine. Pamela slept on the bunk. We decided to mine. not share beds and be able to spread out. It was Aww. nice. Uh -huh, Pamela's light doesn't work. But you can see each one has their own lampshade or little reading light above. And this one has two. Uh, sleeps five. So it says, or six. Sleeps six. So Pamela's short and she's sitting straight up in there. I'm five foot three. <laughs> short. Um, again, make sure you close your windows. <laughs> because um, that's the main road right there and this is the bedroom. There's a little vanity back there that has its own light and mirror, a um, closet with a curtain. Yeah, but there's a safe in there as well. Ironing boards and whatnots. Back here. Going to Pamela. All right, yeah, so this is the vanity area. You can see the mess of makeup that I have here, but it has its own separate light and there's an outlet. So it's nice if you're trying to get ready for an evening out at Disney Springs or want to get dolled up for Magic Kingdom or whatever. Theming is amazing. It is probably one of the better themed accommodations that we've stayed at. And we get our own TV in here. It's kind of tiny, but hey, it's a TV. So that's the inside. Um, get an alarm clock. Yeah. <laughs> It's not huge, but I mean, you can see all the way down there where the end is. I mean, it's it's a good size yeah, for, for a, a oh, vacation. Oh, yeah, considering it's a one-bedroom hotel room, it is huge. So, yeah. The bunk beds are actually pretty comfortable too. I didn't have any problems sleeping last night. Good. Well, we'll try to take you around a little bit more. Um, I'm not sure if we're gonna get back to the settlement to show you up there again. But like I said, we've been there in our other videos. And we'll try to link those on here well, with Trails End. We've been there twice, the Trails End. Yes. Uh, once for breakfast, once for dinner. Yes. Breakfast was amazing. Breakfast is really good. Yeah. Cheap. Uh, oh, Disney cheap. Yeah. Uh, uh, the other shop that they have up there is uh, just, you know, basic grab and go kind of place. I feel like it's about the same size as the one yeah. we went to. I was hoping that this one would be bigger. Yeah, it, this one might have had a little bit more stuff in it, a little more variety, but the other one has about the same stuff and a lot of the snacks and drinks yeah. whatnot that you want to get. Um, the quick service location, a place where you can get some pizza, all up at the settlement Pretty much as well. Pretty sell it at Trails Inn, you can get it that quick service, huh? Yeah. Thanks. So... Yeah, that, and you, like I said, you can get the pizzas up there, uh, you get your mugs refilled up there. Here's the second door to go outside. This one actually has a security latch on it, which is nice. So, that's up there as well, with all the quick service food, uh, right next to the trail's end. So, that is it for the cabin, and like I said, we'll try to get you around to see a little bit more, if we get the chance. And we're only here one more night, we just wanted to come see it and share it with y'all. But we need to start thinking about heading out and heading over to Hollywood Studios and uh, riding a couple rides and having dinner at Mama Melrose. So that video will be coming out soon too. Boom!
Alrighty, so it's a little windy out here, and as you can see, we're at the main bus stop at the outpost. Uh, we took a bus from our area to here. Uh, parking and outpost is what you're looking for, so you can hop a bus to Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom, Epcot, Disney Springs. No buses to Magic Kingdom. Uh, you can only do that via the boots in the back. You can see, that's where Magical Express drops off there in the uh, check-in building. Also rent your golf carts and pick up your scooters there. This is the main parking lot. Oh, you take the dogs to ride the car? And yeah. Got some benches. That's it. Yeah, that's right over there as well. So, Yeah, not a whole lot going on up here. Just check in and buses. That's it. The horse paddock is behind us. Oh, that's right. We did. I forgot about that. Try Circle D. Lots of fun. I like this place. It's big. <laughs> oh, jeez. You get it because the surface. It's a minivan. Minivan. Again, I should have taken one of those. Who will get one from Hollywood Studios? Thank you. But we're going to Hollywood Studios.